All right, thank y'all for tuning in to Surfside Podcast. I'm C the Surfer. Um, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you're gonna do. Uh, tonight we got a couple things to go over. I'm guessing. Uh, I did have to call um Jay, so bear with me. I'm a, uh not bear with me, but like he's a co-host, so I mean it's his show too, low key. Uh, let me go ahead and put him on. Yo, yo, you ready? Yeah. Um, where where can they follow you at? What's your apps? Go ahead. Uh, Pornhub dot com slash oh, Tiana. <laughs> That's what y'all can follow. You said Tiana at. Trump. Yeah. Kill. Cool. It's not a uh, Gucci third leg, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. Man. <laughs> I you mean, I, oddly enough, bro, we went to the same high school. <laughs> Gucci, I can imagine. Yeah, bro. Tosin, Tosin had a brother, all, bro. All the Africans be be uh, tapped in the Duval. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. So we uh went hey, to the same went high to school. State. I you had, know he went to Morgan State. Yeah, and that's where he met Tiana Trump. Yeah, and that's how he launched his little career. Yeah, I actually know somebody personally who was messing with him, but I mean, I'm not gonna put their business out there. Oh, and they say they caught that from him. Huh? No, 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 no. This is like before. This is like when he was in high school. She, uh, she was trying. She. You know what's crazy? They said he came out in like 20. I seen it on Twitter. He came out in like 2022 or 2021. And was like, yeah, I got that shit, bro. So. Um, I'd rather not speak he on would, somebody. I I don't personally know him, but I'm not going. I'm a not for sure. I'm just saying. That's I'm about to say I'm gonna out. respect his brother enough at least. Like, bro came out and said this on the internet. He he went really? on uh with uh he went on stream with uh Aiden Ross and said that on stream. I seen the video. He had he said he had uh HSV he one. His test yes, he showed his test results. But I and thought the two matters, not the one. I don't, I don't have know, neither, not, so I have no idea. I'm not tapped in, but he did. He did hop online and said he had one of them. So dang, Tosin. Mm-hmm. You know it's crazy though, Shorty that caught it from him. Low key, like yeah, she got clout about it now, but she fucking up her own career. Like you sell coochie, so like now niggas is not gonna crack you. No, no, no. like. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Some niggas do not care. Yeah, but that's still like a, like out of ten niggas, how many niggas not gonna care? Nah, you always gonna be able to make content with somebody. Yeah, somebody, but you she sells coochie, like so like that's her whole bread and butter, so somebody going uh, with the other nigga got the same shit, bro. Clout gonna, gonna die care. down, bro. The clout gonna die down. No, no, definitely. She definitely. She could have kept that to her, like yeah, it's fucked up that he gave it to her, but she could have kept that to herself and, like, you know, still and selling coochie and then, like, going up client by client, basically, like, hey, yo, I got this. You know, that's your own risk. Da, da, da. But then somebody going to expose her anyway, so there's no point. I mean, you know, when you got herpes, though, it's it's only, like, it's, like, less than a 1% chance of catching that until, unless you got a, a reaction. Then like you can get it from the reaction, but if you don't get a reaction, it's like, oh. and then they got a antiviral medicine where you can't give it to nobody. But some people just be ignoring that shit, bro. <laughs> she trying to be an advocate and shit. You fucking up your own money. You sell coochie. Yeah, in fact, she is fucking up her own money. But at the same time, she That's always like gonna crack. make some type of money. Yeah, she gonna make some bread. She thick as hell. But that's a. Uh, that's like a crack. That's like a crackhead. I mean, a crack dealer. But like, yeah, I got stepped on crack. But I mean. Telling the world you got stepped on crack. Yeah, it's gonna be niggas if that's you gonna buy get high it. enough. Somebody gonna yeah, be desperate. Gonna, be, gonna buy it, but how many niggas is gonna buy stepped on crack? I get you. I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying niggas gonna look at it like, eh. so shit. Hopefully, think, hopefully he do, think... he don't get that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you said you're a crack. Nah, nah I said I think twice. I ain't said oh, I was oh, oh, I was about to say. I think twice. Shit, <laughs> I ain't that horny, bro. I'm, I'm 28. <laughs> Yo, I, I was about to say, bro. I was about to say that was crazy. Nah, for, sure. for sure. On the dead homies, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> Shit. 
Well, but anyway, I'm gonna kick off. You seen you you seen that new Tory news? What happened? You read that shit? I didn't read it. it. Um, I so sh- basically, basically, then it, it's it was a it was an appeal, a, a notice of appeal that came out, and the notice of appeal was basically saying, "I'm gonna shorten it up." So that I, her his lawyer. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say. So I did see something where they reconsidering his uh trial. We talked about that, but you you talking about what? Say that again. So like he, so every person that goes to prison, right? They gotta, they gotta, they can try for an appeal, mm-hmm. which mean like you could see if you could get your time back or you know come back home off of appeal. <laughs> Okay. For me personally, I thought he had enough evidence to prove that he was like, I'm not saying he didn't do it. No, no. But he already nothing. established that he did do it based on what we heard. Yeah, from the from the jail call, I thought he did it. It's no proof that he did it though. It's okay. still even even the case that even the case that he was in, it still was no proof. Like that's why a lot of lawyers and even me, I thought he was gonna get acquitted off a of reasonable doubt. But nah. for some reason. There was it was there was no bullet fragments. They didn't they had no evidence of the bullet bullet fragment or his DNA on there or nothing like that. And the gun too. It was no evidence. But anyway, <clears throat> so he was trying to he tried to do an appeal and those appeal because his lawyer it was like Sean Hawley or something, was apparently in cahoots or she was a uh, it was a conflict of interest because she was the lawyer, not only a lawyer of Rock Nation. Which is the label that signed the Megan Stallion? She was, nice. her daughter was also cool with Meg. She was like having behind closed doors meetings about Tory's defense case with Meg's lawyer. Uh, oh, and she's Tory's lawyer. Yes, she signed. She's a Rock Nation lawyer. Also, uh, they come to find out. Meg wasn't even going to press charges until she and another lawyer that was with Rock Nation told her to. And then that's believable. Uh, she was, she was signed. She was telling uh, when they got the, cause you know, you get a discovery. Everybody get a discovery. Right. right. Paperwork. A part of discovery was the gun and the bullet fragments and all other stuff. Right. She was trying to file motions to get that dismissed when Tori told her not to, because that would prove his innocence. But, but she was trying to file motion to get it sent away. But they can't find it. They, they, at least now they can't I find read. it. But during trial, they found they had it. During trial, they had it. But now they can't find it. But during trial, she was filing motion to get it like sent away. Oh. When that would have freed Tori. So she was just openly, she was openly like not on his side. And then he had put her on a retainer and like literally. A day before trial, she quit. And then he had to scramble and find lawyers to hurry up and update the trial and shit like that. So he, she just put him in a very compromising position. Imagine going to trial a day later That's the, and you got to find a lawyer. All right. How real do you want to be? Go ahead. Be real. Because if it's me, right, if I'm thinking, you don't think this was a good setup from Tory for a mistrial? What do you mean? I'm not understanding. If if I could convince my team to fight a good defense, but to do specific things along the way, just in case we lose, I can say I deserve a mistrial. I mean, not a mistrial. I deserve a retry because my team didn't handle it appropriately. You don't think that goes on? No, because uh, for one, that's a lot of, like, I don't think when you go into trial, the last thing you're thinking is uh, how to get them, how to get an appeal. That's a, you're trying to think about. You think about beating the case, so you can't just bring up random shit like, "Yeah, my lawyer was a part of uh, Make the Stallions group." Like that has nothing to do with the case. You don't. So, you don't look at your so, lawyer and see who your lawyer is connected to. 
Yeah, the thing is, they were saying that she hid all that. He didn't. He wasn't privy to that all that information. He just got privy to that information. It's two years later. It don't take that long for appeal to lie. How are you not privy to that information if you know she has connections with Live Nation? I mean, with Rock Nation. So like he didn't know. Apparently, he didn't know that she was connected but to Rock Nation. Th- that's my point. I'm saying he possibly did know, but he took the extra step to maybe create a retry later. That's my thinking. Nah, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a thing, because you no, know, going in the trial, your number one goal is to beat the case. So like, you're not thinking, let's have a contingency plan and. But if we uh, want to be honest, Toy yeah. was already he. Toy was kind of fucked from the beginning, like really, was- really horrible way that they managed this whole case, like losing stuff. You don't lose stuff like that. You don't let a lot of evidence go like that. Now, I agree. All That's of that. Her looks, lawyer. The lawyer did that. The you, lawyer fucked up. The, you think the so? lawyer was, the lawyer's playing both sides. That's, that's a part of the appeal. The lawyer, uh, was telling people to was telling the, the defense and the, the, the judge to dismiss things that he, could have possibly had got acquitted for. So that's what, like, if you go back to the trial and, like, go to uh, some of the lawyers that was there, mm-hmm. a lot of them was doing blogs. And even uh, TMZ was like, yeah, these these are things that bro probably could have got off in another case, like another case with another lawyer. Niggas mm-hmm. thought he was going to be off. Niggas thought he was going to be home because it, was, it wasn't it was enough evidence to say that this nigga shot you. It just wasn't. Even now, it's still not enough evidence. So, like, I personally believe the appeal is going to work. But I don't think he did that on purpose to relunk, to get an appeal. Because it just, it just would, first of all, just got to sign off on appeal. That's not enough to sign off on appeal. To just be like, yeah, my, my lawyer wasn't for me. You got to prove that too. Right. But he also did this with the lawyer that he did have saying that, he only had that lawyer for one day. I mean, for like, I know, for, but oh. then the next lawyer he got, he put information out with them and said, you know, this was this should have been, you know, looked up because he was telling her, no, the lawyer was telling him that she don't feel comfortable with the defense he had, and so he was trying to create friction in the email to say, well, this is what I want to go with. So he was telling the courts that he had a defense prepared that you know, they didn't want to go with. So that's already a setup right there of saying, Hey, I'm going to still let you. It could be, it could be a little bit of both. I don't think it's, I don't think, I don't think nobody would willingly like willingly play with their life like that. Okay. So look, like this ain't, this I really ain't a, don't, this ain't a movie. I'm playing devil's advocate. I really don't, have a side between Tori or Meg, to be honest with you. I'm on Kelsey's side to keep it a stack. But if I'm Tori, he gets married while he's in jail. Why do you think he gets married? Uh, Because you get conjugal visits. You say in jail or prison. It depends. No, in jail. He, he gets married in jail. Yeah, so you can get conjugal visits when you go to prison. So like when you uh, it's harder to get it's hard to get married in jail, cause mm-hmm. I mean prison, cause like one you gotta prove that you uh you gotta prove that you've been with somebody for a certain amount of time. But you so they don't. You know who so he chose don't. to marry? Who? His baby mom. You want to know why he married his baby mom? Wow. Well, because when he gets out, he needs to stay in the states. They're gonna deport him after. So if he's married to somebody because he's an immigrant. Then he don't have to go anywhere. I don't know. I mean, you might be you right about that. I, I have no idea about that, but I just know if you get married to somebody, it's hard. Uh, the process of getting married in prison or getting married versus in jail is much easier. And you get conjugal visits while you're in prison if you're married. No, but no, I, I definitely get that. I just think Toy is a lot smarter in thinking about every scenario possible that he could possibly get out. I don't think he he saw Sean Holly being a Rock Nation lawyer. No, I don't. I don't think that. Like, I don't. Nobody would like 
if it was a movie, maybe. But this is real life. <laughs> Nobody's trying to play with their life like that. These, like, nobody... niggas, these niggas be thinking ahead, bro. They be thinking ahead. I gotta give, I gotta give it to them. Bro, yes, I agree. But this ain't this ain't that. This is like <laughs> you're playing with your life, nigga. He could have got he could have very well got fifteen to twenty years. He was facing fifteen to twenty. They gave him ten. He made out. But he, I don't think nobody's playing with their life like that. It's like, okay, let's play games and uh No, save you're, not, this you're not playing with your life. What you're doing is you saying, All right, I'ma prepare for good or bad. That's all you doing. If he beat it, great. But if he don't, he still got a backup plan that he could go to. I get, I get you playing devil's advocate. This is not a good devil's advocate. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Because, <laughs> like, nobody's playing with their life like that, bro. Some niggas nobody do, bro. Some nobody. niggas do. Like I said, I'm on Kelsey's side. I think Kelsey played it perfect. I think she played it perfect. You're hilarious, bro. <laughs> nobody about to be like, you know what? I'm about to go to jail, but let me just keep this in a tuck. Like, nah, for going... sure. For sure. You got to keep things in the tuck. No, nigga. Good or bad. First of all, look, look. So look, right? In court, right? I can't randomly just be like, even if I wanted to, I can't randomly be like, yeah, I think my lawyer is behind my back because the judge is going to be like, uh, this is not the case for that. So you wouldn't even bring, be able to bring that up. You can only talk about what pertains to the case. A lawyer being a snake does not pertain to the case. And then if you think if you think that lawyer is a snake, you can easily fire that lawyer on the spot, literally. But Agreed. the lawyer Sean Holly that was for Tory quit a day before trial. All right, so so let's say she, she didn't get fired. She quit. Let's say she belonged to Rock Nation, right? You think Jay Z pulling those strings? You think Jay Z care enough to put Tori in jail? I don't know, bro. If, I if, don't know. If that. you Rock Nation, what's your selling point to Meg to go through with the trial? Meg the Star is not that fucking big to be doing all that though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And neither is Tori. That's that's my I just, argument. I just think I just think that uh, the only like the only uh, what's it called? What's the word I'm looking for? It's it's just tangled up because the daughter, uh, the lawyer's daughter, is is cool with Meg, and mm-hmm. she is she actually works for rock nation. And so like it, it fits their narrative. Yeah. That's facts, all I, was, facts. I, if it's I don't know if niggas, sure. I don't know Jay Z care that much about all that or whatever like that. But I mean, none of this shit, like, like, like academic said, none of this shit even helped make the style. Her, her, her whole brand got worse from all this. Niggas hate her. I agree. Even of course, even if Tori, even, even if niggas think Tori did it, niggas still don't like Meg. She literally dropped the album a week ago, and I didn't even know. Oh, the Cobra joint? Nah, it was some other album called she Act a... 2, bro. Oh, for real? Jeez, oh, a week ago. That shit sold less than 8K first week. That's believable. Really hard time for the music industry. I made more than that in my check. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Chill, bro. Chill. Chill. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, nobody's listening. Like, her brand, her whole brand is just, like, fucked up, bro. And I'm not saying, I, I, I'm i not saying that she didn't get shot, but, I mean, none of this helped her. Nothing helps her from right here. And now they're talking about suing bloggers because they got a pain on it, which is, like, don't even make sense because. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That doesn't even make sense because it takes money to go to trial, first of all. Facts. Then you're going to lose because. It's something called, uh, what is it called? Freedom of speech. Mm-hmm. So, like, I can, I can, defamation only goes as far as if I'm hurting, like, I, I'm literally affecting your money, I'm affecting how you think at night, this, that, that. I can, I can call you a piece of shit all I want to. That, that's, that's not defamation. Agree. They're gonna lose because freedom of speech is a thing. Agree. Me calling you an asshole is not gonna get me sued. Like, you're but you can't say money. false facts. I think that's what she's trying to eliminate. False facts. Now the the I gun can. the gun I being incl- inconclusive. I can't say false facts. How it's called propaganda. 
Mm, I can. To a certain extent. You could sell propaganda to a certain extent. Like I said, the only way that you can sue defamation and win is if it's literally affecting your pockets and you're like reaching enough people. Like you're you're you're, you're suing random influ- YouTubers that got less than a hundred subscribers. It makes no sense, bro. Like, what are we doing? Yeah, but then those people start to believe the bullshit that you put out to give it a stack. So when those Not people gonna... start to believe the bullshit more than the person is coming from, then it's like, all right, my nigga, we gotta shut you up just a one little thing, bit. One thing Americans band together about is freedom of speech. Like you try to shut up one American, millions of Americans gonna come out and be like, No, you shut up. <laughs> so like <laughs> nobody nobody wants to it's kinda like uh the empathy thing, like I see a I see a, a black man get killed by cops. Yeah, millions of black people gonna come behind that black person. You see a you see a kid get beat up. Millions of other people got kids, bro. They gonna come out the woodworks, bro. So you see people got uh trying to shut up the freedom of speech. Niggas gonna go crazy. You see people trying to take away guns. All the gun people coming out of nowhere. Okay, so I don't agree with her doing that at all. I think that's lame. I think that's whack. If she just don't like the fact she can't control her own narrative, but then again, who doesn't like that? So she got to bite that bullet. Nobody I just don't see the benefit in that. Nobody ever beat the media. Facts. Facts. I think I think For one, you need the media. The only person that beat the media at one point in time was P. Diddy. How he do that? Because he painted an image of Suge Knight that is kind of unbelievable now. Like all the Niggas. shit, all the shit we thought Suge Knight was doing, P. Diddy was end up doing. But niggas already did not like Shug Knight, so was that really that hard? Right, that's what I'm saying. P. Diddy was able to finesse the public into thinking Shug Knight was this way, when really he Shug Knight seems to be a solid guy. I'm not gonna lie. That's crazy to say. How? Because Shug Knight is far from a solid nigga. <laughs> Why would you say he not? Shug Knight is diabolical, bro. No, I'm not saying he's not diabolical. I'm pretty sure he is. He's as diabolical as Jay Z. I mean, Diddy. You think so? Lie. He raped niggas. How you know? How you know this? He got, he got, he got niggas. Wait, raped. wait, wait! You gotta say allegedly, bro. You gotta say allegedly. He got. A, he allegedly got niggas raped and raped niggas. How? How? Please, please. How? No, no, no. Getting niggas raped. Okay, sure. But raping. Allegedly, doing, bro. Doing the raping. Allegedly. He was the he was the founder of drugging niggas, getting gay niggas to fuck them, and having them on film and blackmailing them. Yeah, but was he the one doing it? That's what was my question. Man, shit, we don't know, bro. If you could go that far, bro, that's like that's like robbing me and saying strip naked, bro. <laughs> like you could go that far, you could do anything, bro. So just imagine the type of things he was doing to niggas and girls too. Like he imagine who, how many girls he beat. I'm all. not saying Suge wasn't diabolical. I'm just saying half of the shit that we know about Suge came from the media. Why? P. Diddy controlled Suge, the media. Suge was just was in a time where it wasn't like he his his reign was just in a time where media wasn't like it was no social media. Unfortunately, Diddy. Is still thriving and in the, the the digital era, Suge been in jail for a minute. That, that's so. on some get back shit. They wanted to get him back for some dumb shit, but regardless of Girl. that, I still feel as though Suge was a lot more solid than Diddy. It's just Diddy controlled the What's media. Your, what do you mean by solid? Um, we we could go with rights. He gave Tupac his rights. Diddy didn't give not one of anything to any artist that he got. 
So that shows you the level of friendship that they really were on with both sides and where they viewed them. Uh, the one thing you do right out of the millions of things. No, no, no. You, you just asked me to name one. I can name others. It's just you asked me to name one. So that's one I went with. Okay, yeah, cool. I, I suppose. But I, I do think because the media outlets had to come from New York, Diddy controlled that aspect. And then he became popular enough to, you know, control the LA media as well. He had money. Way more money than Shug. Yeah, for sure. Diddy thought the money was uh made him untouchable. Facts. Well, while it did, it was the truth. But the truth is the truth until it's not the truth anymore. Yeah. That's a fact. And it's no longer the truth. We don't live in an era where money means you're untouchable. You're kinda untouchable in a way, if you could, you know, keep your shit quiet and shit like that, but you're not as untouchable as you used to be. You think Jay Z uh Made that call with the toy trial. I don't know, bro. I, don't, I can't speculate. I'm, I'm not a. I'm not a speculator. I about to say if you if but you you know think got connections to. Rock I don't Nation, know Jay Z. I can't speak. I'm not gonna speak on. We them. don't like, know I none don't of know. these niggas, bro. Yeah, I don't know them niggas, but at least with Tory and what's the name, it's enough information for me to be like to form an opinion. I don't know Jay Z or anything from a campaign, so I, I couldn't tell you. Like I, I don't know. If I was Jay-Z, it's not that serious for me to even dabble in that, for real, for real. Like, Meg Thee Stallion is not that, like, she's not generating that much money for me to be, like, trying to get Tory Lock. I 1,000% agree. I don't think his hand was in it. I think he knew about it. I don't think his hand was in it, though, but I don't think he gave that much of a fuck about it. Nah, that's his investment. He definitely gave that much about it, for sure. That's your investment I mean, that you just it, signed. Come on, bro. Meg, 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 uh, going to trial with Tory serve. It doesn't do anything for him, the the Rock Nation. They don't do nothing for Meg the Stallion besides maybe get justice if he really did it. Like it don't do nothing for nobody. It don't uh, get nobody. I disagree. Going. If you want to go down, money. if you want to go down this rabbit hole, you don't lose money. You got to think about the positions they were in at the time. Toy was just popping with Quarantine Radio, so he was a big figure at that time. And we looked at Meg as the next Nicki Minaj, possibly a good Cardi B rival. So if you're at that level, your bag is high. So because your bag is that high to my company, you're a really good investment to join my label. So once she joins my label, you are a priority. But what does sending Tory to jail do for your company? I think that's where everybody's speculating at. Now, it's either... I don't think Toy was that much of an important artist, to be honest with you, but other people tend to think, y'all tend to think, that Toy was this guy that was next up to be in the top five of artists. That's crazy. I think that's crazy as well. But that's what people think, bro. People thought... Like, Toy was on his way. That's wild. I mean, I still don't see how that gains, like, Toy going to jail gains you anything other than, like, maybe justice if it really happened. But like I said, Meg wasn't even going to press charges. The lawyers made her do it, like, was like, yeah, do it, because they were trying to get some, like, sympathy, I guess. No, I definitely Um, believe that for sure. They like remember Max even publicly said I'm not gonna do anything. I don't want to send black men to jail. For sure, for and, sure. And then now finding out, the lawyers pressed her to, to, to press charges. So I mean, I think it's more involved. I don't think Jay Z is involved in it, but I mean, I know he know about it. Like it's his company. He know about it. But and at the end of the day, Tory locked up. But I mean. Meg ain't doing no better. Like, the shorty career is in a drain, basically. Hopefully, I mean, I ain't, I ain't wishing bad on her. Hopefully, it will, it will come back, but I Man, ain't listening to the last two shit that came out. She's talented, so she'll come back. She just got to crack the code again. I don't know, bro. Niggas hate you enough. Niggas are for sure stop listening to you. What Meg should really do to get back on, bro, all she got to do is couple a couple songs with niggas on it, bro. 
And niggas gonna love it. Cause right now she got a female audience, but she need her nigga audience to be like listening to her again type shit. Even the female audience people, I don't be hearing girls tapping in the bag like that. They tapping in the glow. Facts. Glow and glow and sexy. They not tapping the Meg like that. And it's not like they talking about anything different. Like people like, yeah, we don't want to hear that sex shit from Meg, but glow and sexy just talking about sex too. They just it's just niggas like them. <laughs> niggas don't like Meg. So <laughs> And Meg also don't have industry friends either. Like Nobody likes her, bro. Yeah, nobody nobody really likes her at this time. She got niggas that wanna fuck her, but other than that, I don't think she got no real people she could collab with. Hey, bro, I don't know why, bro. Niggas don't like her, bro. Like, even Ice Spice got more res than you right now. You think? For sure. Ice Spice is way bigger than Meg right now. You? Niggas love mm. Ice Spice. Niggas love Ice Spice. She just sold out a show. And, uh, hold on. I'm going to find out exactly what it was. She's selling out shows, bro. She's on tour. She's in matter of fact, she's on tour outside of the country. Meg wouldn't even dream to do no shit like that. I wouldn't say that she's bigger than Meg at this point. She's on tour outside of the country. An American artist outside of your country on tour. Nigga, it don't get no bigger than that. Bro, Megan healing, bro. She healing. She don't (laughs) she wouldn't even be able to do no shit like that. Let her heal. Nah, she can no do way. that. No, no, she got the uh anime. She got the anime people now. She mm-hmm. could go to Asia. She could go to Asia and do a she couple shows. She would have did it already. You said they what? Did it already. She would have did it already. And that's a huge market to get into as well. She would have did it already. Uh, uh, Ice Spice is like a year in her career. You don't think like? Come on now, maybe would have did it already if she could. Nah, I think she can. I think. I, it's not really much that Ice Spice got out. I think she got like maybe a. How many people? How many artists you know that can that can go on tour? Not male and women right now. Drake, uh, Chief Keef. Uh, I don't think Drake can right now. To be honest, Drake facing too much heat. Well, across, overseas, yeah, Drake could do it. Yeah, I'm about to say you're wild right yeah. now. We're almost into the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, Drake could definitely do it. I about to say because if Takashi Six Nine is still doing it, Drake could do it. Um, Drake, Travis Keith did it. Travis got maybe. Nah, Travis definitely. You tripping? Um, Kanye. Kanye, okay. Um, keep in mind these are artists that have been out for years. Ice Spice just got out like two years ago. For sure. I mean, Lil Pump's still doing shows, but I'm just saying. Is he doing outside the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He outside the country. He in Japan and shit. Okay. So these are artists, right? That's been out for years. Maybe been out for years. She's not outside the country. That's that's crazy to me. Um, Ice Spice is outside the country her second year of rapping. Because she popping, I guess. I, I see your point. I see your point. I think Meg just got to make better moves. Like, she been putting up duds the last couple times. And she got to appeal to a male audience a lot better. Because Ice Spice, one thing Ice Spice is going to do, bro, she going to shake her ass. Like, that, that's going to get a male audience. We don't care what you're saying, for real. But the women love it as well. That's when we was loving when Meg did it, but Meg stopped and got niggas locked up and then yeah. So hopefully do I say that? Hopefully everybody's okay at the end of this. Um, Kelsey, I still rock with you, bro. You you still part of my job. I don't even know who Kelsey is, bro. I I don't got nothing against Meg. I don't even know that lady. I don't know. So no. I mean, of course, we don't got nothing against me. You know, I hope, I hope she do. You know, I hope she do make it out of her situation and shit like that. But she's a talented rapper. She's the most talented rapper out of all the girls. Mm. She's the most talented rapper out of the girls. Let's not do Karen? it. Besides, Karen, current, current. She's the most talented. 
Now, is it the most popping? Probably not. I think Sexy and, and, and Glorilla are the most popping. And then probably Ice Spice after that. Now, rap, I'm like Ice Spice. Rapping ability and song ability? Mulatto got something to say about that, bro. I'm just saying. <sighs> I think I think Lotto might be the worst one out of all. Now nah, you're tripping. Lotto could rap. Lotto could rap. Over Meg, I'm I don't overall. know. I don't know. But overall, overall she... I might give the edge to Lotto. She got better song oh. ability. Nah, she ain't got better song ability than Sexy and Glow. Sexy you're and Glow be putting but Sexy and Glow be putting out hits. Sexy, when I be working in nightclubs, bro. They be having sexy bread on repeat. Nah, for they don't sure. have. They got that big mama part, but that shit is a minute. Literally, is a minute, and then that's it. Sexy is got the club on lock, and Glorilla got that shit on lock. Mm. I don't be hearing Meg like that. Nah, I not no hear, more. I don't hear. That's a fair point. I don't hear Meg no more. I don't hear a lot of unless it's big mama, and that's it. I'm not hearing a lot of like Nah, that. Brokey. Brokey. They play Brokey in the club. I'm, I'm not hearing that in the clubs. I hear I'm women sing it all the time. Yeah, they sing it, but I'm not hearing it in the club. Niggas not playing that. I mean, but the club don't make shit relevant all the time. It do matter what you put on your ox. If, if that shit in the club, your shit is popping, bro. Agreed. That mean you make probably like let's just say like they play fifty songs, which is probably a stretch. They probably play like a good twenty five to thirty songs. In the club? your song, they, yeah, they're because a club if a, a club go what from eight to less one o'clock two o'clock. Mm-hmm. So from eight to two, and we're not even gonna count the first hour because the first hour they just play like a random selection of songs because the club ain't popping yet. Right. So really, are we including like, throwbacks at all? Uh, they only really play throwbacks on Throwback Thursdays. Nah, they play throwbacks. You gotta play your regular throwbacks. You gotta play. It's, a loop. If it's not, if it's Friday, they're not really playing throwbacks. Mm, I don't know. I hear no games a lot. I hear uh the book. Bo- yeah, they bo- play bo- throwbacks, bo- but it's like play. certain days, like. Certain days they play throwback, like like I said, like thir- Thursday, they they dedicate throwbacks on Thursdays, usually. Mm-hmm. And they'll play a throwback now and then, like you know, like uh, uh, back that ass up, be making the playlist facts, and shit like that. Facts always. But that's what I'm saying. So like, if you playing, let's just say fifty, which is probably a little bit too much. Okay. That's that's a that's you a have, large list. Fifty. That's, that's not a large. It's not that much, bro. That's what I'm trying to. Say. You gotta. You gotta say, okay. They gonna play back that ass up. They gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna throw this money like a free. They gonna play the 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 hands by Roscoe Dash. Think about all the the ass shaking songs they gonna play. No, for sure, for sure. Not mad at that. Out of fifty, that's a tight list, and none of your songs is making it. Mike the Stallion, Lotto, you got one song that's making it. Glow. And and uh, what's her name? Uh, sexy, sexy red is like ten songs in that bitch, bro. <laughs> I'm not lying, bro. And that's just on repeat too. That's just on repeat, bro. They be running that back. Shit, I, not, bro. I, I think that's really good argument. They hit that. I don't dance, but I know how to fuck. Oh yeah, this yeah, yeah. Going facts, crazy, facts. bro. Like they really. And that shit came out the beginning of the summer. Dang, sexy dude got like four or five songs in the club right now. I'm looking for the hoes, bro. That should be having a club. Crazy, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Her clout is on another level. Like her song yeah. making ability is on another level. It's not Megan Lotto is not there. And it's now, some real really simple kinda, shit. It's not overcomplicated. It's just yeah, that's why I said overall Lotto is not in there. But a uh, rapping ability, she rap way better than fucking sexy red Thanks. and uh glow. But they her is not hitting on their level. The song ability not hitting. Mm, I get it. And niggas just flat out don't like Meg, so she ain't even making a <laughs> playlist. She don't, she don't make the playlist. For real, she just don't make it. Yeah. For real. And I and I love Jeez. Meg. Like I, she's well, I don't love her, but she's she, she's fine. All right, but she doesn't. You don't make the playlist, bro. Facts. I, 
niggas, niggas hate her for Tori. Niggas hate her when she's they say uh, that whole party next door thing. Like niggas do not party like next that. door. What she do with party next door? Or oh, whatever his name is, party that boyfriend she had. Oh oh oh, oh yeah, partisan, partisan. <laughs> yeah, partisan. Yeah, yeah. Too many niggas named party. Facts. But mm. yeah, she she do got a bad record with niggas. I'm not gonna lie. Ice Spice got the got got uh, New York on lockdown. For sure, for sure. One thing about New York, New York is going to support New York. That's if they make it out. If they don't Bro, make it Texas, out, there's no chance. Or Texas don't even support Meg, and she from Texas. I feel like Houston does. I'm gonna ask somebody and, Houston for it. Remember, and Beyonce is a uh, Rock Nation, so you know. Any of my Houston niggas that's in the chat, let us know if they bumping Meg in the club down there. I doubt Please. it though. Like, what's even have out like? <clears throat> Did Meg get out? Um, shit, I can't tell you right now. I got no idea. You got that album out that that nobody's listening to, bro. I've been listening to Straight Dirt. I'm sorry. I'm I'm the reason why the 28 percent is up. Free Dirt, bro. Free dirt for sure, but yeah, okay. All right, I guess you got a point. Megan don't got no songs in the club right now. Niggas didn't even know she dropped her album, bro. She dropped her album. Facts. That's a fact. Cause she didn't she do no rollout for it either. She didn't do not one interview. She didn't do not. Did she don't do even a need a roll. Bro. What, uh, no, she she needs a roll. Rod Wave didn't do nothing but drop an album. Cause he didn't say nothing. Rod Wave is at a different level with bitches, bro. That is kind of untouchable right now. I'm not. I'm about to go album twenty twenty four. The big artist that's on her level, kind of. That's known. Rod Wave is bigger than Meg, for sure. But uh, like. What are we talking about? Is she bigger than is she is he bigger than Meg Clout or is he bigger than Meg in songs? I mean music. Both. Nah, I think they're on the same level with Clout. No, no way. I'm, no way. The way Rod make females feel, bro, hell no. Uh, uh, what's Rod Wave Instagram? So Meg got thirty three million followers on Instagram. What's uh I'm trying to figure out what's Rod Wave Instagram. Don't go by uh, album sales. Album. Raw Wave. I think they like. I'm not talking about. I know he his music is bigger than hers. Yeah, for sure. But he deleted. He deleted his Instagram. But I'm pretty sure they're around the same amount of followers. My boy searching like, for peace. I'm. I'm pretty sure they're around the same amount my, of followers. My boy <laughs> said he got to stop. <laughs> Beyonce did no rollout. Beyonce don't need a rollout either. Meg should not. Tyler, the creator, did no rollout. He got more. Ty, Tyler does not need a rollout. <laughs> Bro. Tyler ain't dropped an album in like 15 years. My you're nigga. you're he tripping. Did no Igor play. just came out like two, three years ago, bro. And Igor went oh. crazy. Maybe, okay, not, so maybe just... not to you and me, but those I'm... other people, they really right, love so Tyler, bro. Let's just say it dropped three years ago. That's three years ago, my nigga. He just randomly dropped an album. He he doesn't need a rollout. Tyler has a specific band. He got that Uzi type fan base where they kind of delusional. Future, Future just supporters. randomly dropped an album this month too. Future had, no rollout. Future is you're naming all artists that are bigger than Meg. They're not that much bigger than Meg the Stallion. They bro. are way They're, bigger than Meg. That, ah. Way bigger. Way oh, bigger. Uh, you reach it right now. That's not a reach lie. at all. But Chat, please tell me is that a reach? Are these artists bigger than Meg? We got future. Are they, oh, go ahead. Are they better than maybe? But are they bigger than Meg? I don't know, bro. Like Meg is yes. pretty, pretty known in the world. She's known. And so she's known. So is Tyler. So is Future. So is Rod yes, Wade. Yes, they are. So they're known too, but they they all known around the same. Like I don't think. No, I'm that saying much. they are way bigger than Meg. For sure, a thousand percent. Their That's, fan bases go crazy and spend endless money, bro. They not only like have that. black people, but they have others as well. 
I don't like that take. I'm sorry. We gonna we gonna have to see. <laughs> I no way they that much bigger than Meg the Stallion, bro. They are. They are. Someone that got thirty thirty okay, she got thirty two she got thirty three million on Instagram, right? Mm-hmm. Let's go to let's just go to Beyonce. No, Beyonce is just crazy, I bet. I know I know her followers are going crazy, but let's just see how much crazier. She has good lord. Uh thirty, 30 <laughs> she has thirty three hundred and fourteen million. Okay, cool. Future. Let's go to future. Twenty six million. That's less than that's less than Meg. What what Meg million. what Meg got? Thirty three. Let's go to Tyler well, Crater. He got he got sixteen million. But what about engagement? I think engagement matters more than a follower. It does matter, but I mean the followers is some type of reflection on how big you are, bro. You got you got more Instagram followers. That is kind of a reflection. Mm. I don't think Future is that much bigger than fucking Meg Thee Stallion. And if, I don't think she is, he's bigger, period. Now, is he going to sell my records for sure? But Meg, as far as who knows who this lady is, niggas know who she is, bro. She big as hell. She just don't sell records. She's nobody feel like her right now. Okay, we we gonna have to see about that one. She don't. She should not need a rollout. She shouldn't need one. Let's go. Let's go to Glover. Her counterparts. Glover Glover had, five. Yeah, but oh, she yeah. had a rollout though. Glow had a rollout. Phenomenal rollout, sexy. by the way. Also, sexy got four point seven million, bro. I never heard of a sexy very rollout. I want to say I did. She got an EP. That's when she did the uh, video with Drake before this whole thing with Drake happened. I don't know. I don't think that's a rollout. Lotto got Lotto had got twelve point eight. Megan still leading all them misses, bro. What does a rollout look to you? Look like to you? Like you, uh, you doing the podcast? You doing all the Breakfast Club shows? Mm-hmm. Uh. You you everywhere you appearing everywhere. Yeah, that's what Sexy Red was doing when her EP came out. She was appearing everywhere. I feel like she was just she does that now. Like she she just be places. Like she she was all in Chief Keith uh at Chief Keith crib and that shit was all over the internet. She ain't release shit. She was just there. You you stay in drama. That's just who she is. She just be in a mix. Damn. Sorry, sexy. I mean, hey, she a hood bitch, bro. That's what hood bitches are. They just be in a mix, bro. Mm. I don't know. I don't think I don't think Meg should need a rollout. But well, hey. obviously she can't drop a random. Album. <laughs> she drop a random album. That shit gonna go triple. Aluminum. I looked at her following. Her first following is Tori and Craig. Bro, Dom Kennedy dropped out. I think he did more sales than her. Oh, wait. Megan's first follower is Tori and Craig? Yeah. Jeez. But Dom Kennedy dropped out this year, this month. Hold on, let me see how many. Dom Kennedy. Now, you know I love Dom. Album. Sales. Okay. What you got? I'm looking at right now. I'm pretty sure this nigga, I know for, I just know he dropped more fucking hits. I mean, uh, downloads than this lady did uh, first week. Hmm. Dropped nine thousand copies first week. Meg dropped under eight thousand. For a lady that's that's globally known, Dom Kennedy is known in like barely forty states in the United States. Thanks. No, and he no. dropped nine. Meg dropped under eight k her first week. No argument. He did that. Like that's how that's how bad she nobody's fucking with her right now. So you got an indie artist that's not even known for more than 40 states 
dropping more copies than you in your first week. No, nah, I get it. I'm not mad at it. And three on a board, billboard uh, 200. You're not even like, are you even in the top 100 in the billboard? Yeah, it may have got to scale back a little bit. Definitely got to scale back a little bit. But she, she trying to catch heat again is just... I don't, I don't think it's working, to be honest. I don't know, man. I mean, either and, way, even if Tory don't, even if Tory don't get his, uh, he don't make like he don't get the the appeal to work. He still made out. The nigga gonna be out in two years. So. Yeah, for sure. He gonna be all right. And sometimes, and, sometimes and, need jail, bro. I heard he got a temper problem. Sometimes niggas need jail. But he got a brother right now. That's going to do music too So we got somebody That's going to keep the lights on This brother pretty decent So They going to be alright I'm pretty Got enough money bro Yeah facts And sure. he just dropped the album That album probably did more than Meg did Damn You going crazy <laughs> That probably did bro Real, real shit Tori got a big fan base you going Ooh, crazy What's the name of his right album now? Uh, I don't know I don't listen to Tori oh, Let me see uh, I'm pretty sure it did, but like that shit. Uh, trailing album sales. Oh, the lost. Uh, no. Oh, it should mind. be like I... prison tapes or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Damn, ain't no telling. They don't tell us. That was only a song. Shit, they did discover his uh his music equipment in jail though. So, I mean, he gonna get that in jail. He rich, bro. He gonna get that. Nah, facts. You get any? You can get anything in prison, bro. Facts. I I believe that. Them guards. And if you rich, with girls. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna say they too much but for sure. Well, niggas know. <laughs> they they gonna charge though for sure. They gonna charge that bag. Jeez. Like a girl, when I was in jail, bro, my fucking it was it was guards selling it for like five hundred. Selling pussy? Yeah, for sure. Sheesh. On the street, that should probably worth sixty bucks. <laughs> the forty, the forty, not even the what sixty, the forty. I seen one of them outside like six months after I got out. And I was like, ugh. Yeah, facts. But in there, she was probably a 10, bro. That's what I'm saying. In jail, bro. Niggas Damn. be too. 500. That's bro, crazy. I was in that bitch so long. It was this old lady. I was like, yeah, I'll do that to Shorty. Thinking back, I was dis- I'm was disgusted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wilding. You're wilding for sure. Niggas was in jail, bro. Niggas was 20. <laughs> Niggas were down back. <laughs> My boy had no access to the bitches. <laughs> nah, yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't that horny though. Niggas was beating, niggas was beating their shirt and shit like that, bro. I wasn't doing that, bro. Nah, I, I believe it. You got to like, you don't got no, you don't got no other option for real. And the other option nah, that you think about is crazy. Nah, I wasn't doing that, bro. I wasn't masturbating or nothing like that. I mean, I I don't care, bro. I I didn't want to know. Don't want to. I was pictures for real, for real, like I would get like this, like uh, blank blank, and I would tell her send me uh, pictures. Uh, 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 I, we don't need to know, bro. I promise you. No, nah, I'm, I'm about to masturbate this shit. I'm just saying, I would sell those like I knew niggas was horny, so like I would just ask them to my people to send me those pictures, like Instagram models, and then I sell them for some food. It was really free. It was Free, free money for real. Yeah, I knew niggas get it how you live, bro. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> niggas be too horny in that bitch. Right. It's niggas in that that's that's not leaving. So that shit really they porn. Nah, I believe that wholeheartedly. Un- unless they marry a pen pal or something, then it's a wrap for them. So I get it. Niggas be too broke to get a pen pal, bro. You you gotta have money to have a pen pal. You gotta have money to have an iPad, bro. But you get like you gotta, some letters and shit, right? Yeah, but I mean that's programs you get when you get to prison, not jail. Shit. 
And then you still gotta be like, you gotta have a little emotion. Facts. Facts. A lot of emotion type shit. Yeah, that shit costs money, bro. Ain't nothing free. Only thing free in jail is uh And jail is overtaxed. <laughs> jail is way overtaxed. Three dollars three, four dollars for a pack of noodles is crazy. Yeah. So but, you gotta have a little Go ahead. You gotta have money. Nah, facts. I was about to uh go ahead and end out. We've been on here for about 